everybody. 7.59. Sunday Night Live. And today we are making pandas. To be honest, after the hilarity of last week, um, I thought we should do something really, really safe. Um, and I have looked at this panda upside down, back to front, left and right, and I cannot see any way that it could be misconstrued as anything else. We are on a safe territory. <laughs> so hopefully, good evening, Elaine. How's everybody's Sunday been? You had a nice time. We've got really, really nice, nice uh, weather here. So we've all been out hanging out in the garden. Isn't it a joy to have the, the weather back? Um, having said that, I don't know. Maybe it's horrible where you are. So, so but we've had lovely weather, so we've been out there. So good evening. So Lynn, Donna, Joanna, Lorraine, Nikki, usual suspects, I see. Danielle, Angela, how are we doing? Hello, Marissa. Tina. Anne. Wow, wonderful. You've all found me. Hello, Laura. Laura spent the day tackling um, giraffes. Good evening, Ben. Um, hopefully, all of you are getting ready. So tomorrow, tomorrow evening, uh, is the Jaguar, starting up Jaguar classes. So if you're on the Jaguar, uh, you need to jump in the group. If you've not requested, you need to request to jump in the Jaguar group so that you can come on the lives tomorrow. So, so that's just a quick heads up before we go in. So good evening, Tiny Jan. Uh, oh, how do you pronounce that? Is it Ansi? An so hello, <laughs> Ansi, Lisa, Laura. Oh, hello. Laura's still painting. Laura, you'll be painting that giraffe for a whole week. I did wonder why you started on a Sunday evening. I hope it's not got to be done for tomorrow. Good evening, Annette. Um, how have we got Mandy? Yes, Maria. Oh, so Maria's working on a wolf. Marina. Ka hello, Karen. I was thinking about you, Karen. I was reading reading that book I was telling you about, and I was thinking, I wonder if you I think you've got into reading it yet. Cindy, Becca, wonderful. Everyone's here. Look at that. Awesome. Right. That that not that's putting any more pressure on me at all. You know, I just saw this panda this week and thought he'll be cool. And now I'm looking at it thinking, these sculpts are just getting nuts, aren't they? Like I was thinking earlier, like when I started this a year ago. I was so scared, I made myself feel ill, as Karen will testify. And also, I just did a very basic, hello, this is a structure and this is what it looks like, bye. And then everyone was like, mm, come on, show us how to do some sculpting. And I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't. it's too much pressure. And I was like, all right, we'll have a little go. And I like sculpted like the most simple face ever. So here we are, a year on, almost today, I reckon, a year on. And I'm going, ha, ah, screw it, let's do a whole panda in an hour. <laughs> it's just like... Talk about, you know, what, what just repetition does. Just, you just can't help it. You just, you just, your confidence goes up. So, here we go. Let's give it a go. You ready? All right. So, I have done this. I haven't actually. I've hacked this because um, we've been out. Um, we've been out the last couple of days and then in the garden and trying to find a house and all that good stuff. Um, but I've hacked this down to a 10 inch square. And then I've got a little cheeky six inch head. And the reason why it's a funny colour is because it was for a client cake and it was too much. There was too much. So I just bunged it in the freezer thinking, uh, I don't know what I'll do with it. So now we've got a red headed panda, um, which is all we can do a red panda. Come on, this is not a red panda. Don't, don't get me down that one. Um, but that's why he's got a red head. So, but this is only one layer deep. OK, so this isn't like a proper full inch 10 and a full inch six round. It's only like one one tin. So I reckon there's about 12 acres between the two. Bit like Gizmo, OK? It's running the same the same sort of thing as Gizmo if you want to go back and have a look at that. So I reckon this is what we're going to do. And we will give it a go. I do not know. if I've got, I feel like I'm missing something. So if I get halfway through and I haven't got something, I might have to leg it, OK? But I, think, I feel like I've got everything, but something's nagging me. So let's see. So should we crack on? Because it is now three minutes past eight. We've got one hour. Ready? Here we go, then. Ah! All right. So first up, I need to drop. We're just going to go straight into it, okay? Enough talking. I need to drop his head down into his body the minute it's sat at the top. So let's do that. So I'm just going to cut out. This is probably still frozen. So if, I, if I'm hacking it a bit, it's because it's, it only came out of the freezer a couple of hours ago. Oh, and you have to imagine that it's filled, okay? So this is a split and filled. You don't need me to do that. You can do that. So there we go. Let's do that. All right. Big knife. What's that? 
bin for scraps. I have a bin for scraps. It's here. I managed it. Maybe it's because I'm too organized and I can't handle it. <laughs> never, never organized. All right. So body shape. We're going to cut off. We need his shoulders in here. Round him off here. We've got arms that are going to come out here. Actually, I could do those in. Making up as I go along as usual. Let's give him his shoulders. Try and cut round the phone. So his arms, I'll just put them in and show you. His arms will do something like this. Then we want a belly, but we don't have a lot of belly because we go straight into where his little legs are coming up. Oops, sorry, hit the phone. Okay, and then I'll start his legs up here. I'm sort of torn at the moment between whether I should be on the big knife or the little knife. Get out. That one. Do the same on this side. Nobody's talking about trotters. I will ignore all trotter comments. Okay, so there's his little knees coming up. They probably don't stick out that far, actually. His belly comes in there. Let's just get rid of a tiny bit. To be honest, he's so furry. I don't think it's not going to matter too much what we do. Oh, don't lose my hand. And then we'll just come in the bottom here. Let me move my turn a bit. Without moving the cake. Maria, stop it. Right? And then his little legs extend off. Wait a minute, I've just got to move this all up a bit. I'm going to run out of room. I'll try and keep it in the same place on the camera. So we've got a little bit more room for his legs here. And then he's got this just rounded bottom. So let's give him that bit. So we'll just literally just round him off here. Starting his legs. Starting his legs. Now, because we haven't got much time tonight, I'm going to make his legs out of sugar paste. Mostly out of sugar paste. I probably, in fact, I definitely wouldn't do that if I was working for a client in cake. Um, because I can, I'd make this out of a 12 and then I'd use the extra bits and I'd build the arms up and I'd build the legs down. But you, that's just too much to try and butter cream and get sorted out in an hour. So, we have to do it. so we've got the legs coming up here. Arms coming up here, his little shoulders come into his head, and his little head comes down here. These feel a little bit on the big side, or they're on the small side, one or the other, so let's just even them out a little bit. We take a bit more weight off here. Just so they're a bit more in proportion. I don't mind him having a chunky little tummy though, that's fine. Funny shape, isn't he? Because he's got his arms and legs coming up. Okay. Right, so at the moment we're completely flat. And we don't want that. We want to round his belly down. So at the moment we want this to be the high bit. That to be the low bit. So I just need to get a bit more body shape out of him. I've definitely got knife issues going on. Trying to get around the phone. So we've curved that down. Let's round him off here as well. So we're going to have to build up here and we're going to have to build up there. If I think about how I would lie down, I'm guessing this bit drops down. So these probably don't come up to this point. They probably, the elbows will sit lower down. So let's get rid of these points here. Because if you lay on your back and put your arms up, your elbows would be on the floor, wouldn't they? They wouldn't be sort of floating around up, up somewhere. So let's get rid of these points so that his elbows go to the floor. Rounding his shoulders. And then 
staggeringly amazingly luckily for us his head is incredibly round i never saw a rounder head than in a panda look at it so round so let's just oh colored cakes what a mess they make let's just round his edges off so he's not got a flat head and then we're going to have to carve back a little bit because we need to be able to give him his nose sticking out you know we're coming into summer when i start sweating so his nose is going to come on here let's just carve out a little bit so if we draw it in so his eyes in the middle of his head like that nose comes down and around like so so we could just pull out a little bit here just to help us out they've got teeny teeny tiny eyes Do I, is anyone talking to me? <laughs> Maria is saying I can't please her thoughts. Bless you. Uh, I'm, what I'm, uh, well, the reason why I'm hesitating is I don't know whether to build up his nose or to drop back his face. But I think because of the way it's quite chunky, I think we'll build up his nose and we'll just leave his head like that. I don't think we need to do anything more than that, do we? we just build it up. Right, cool. Happy days. So I'm going to clear all that away. And we'll get onto the crumb coat, which, as you know, is my favourite bit. And it's the bit where we have to get the elevator music going. I also don't think I've got enough buttercream, so it might be a little bit skimpy. Never mind. Nobody cares. Good evening, Julie. Jane. Okay. I will never live that down. That will, that will be on the internet for the rest of forever. They're doing a story of my life when I'm 90 in some little old lady's home. It will come back up, won't it? Uh -oh. oh dear. Right. Buttercream. Now remember, in your world, when you do this, put that way, you have to split this and fill it or do two thin layers, whatever, okay? But um, I, nobody's got thumbs up. So I'm just going to buttercream up this guy. Hello, Nicole. I can read comments on my phone too, you see. I had to do a rainbow cake for my client who wanted their slippers. So I've ended up with these bits of rainbow cake around the place. I think I vaguely thought I was going to put them in the freezer and then like make cake pops for the kids, but the amount of colouring that was in these times about seven layers. It's probably not a good idea to give to the kids, is it? Mm -hmm. It's the first rainbow cake I've ever, in 10 years, had to make, would you believe? Good evening, Karen. So, well, you're making stuff, yeah? Nobody's sitting on their bums, are they? I hope, I hope you're not doing too much sunbathing. What were your sculpting? Oh, honestly, crumb coating does me, does me in. It's just so dull. Should I ask Alexa to play something? If I ask Alexa to play something, all your Alexa to play as well, don't you? Fine. I've never done a panda. I keep doing things that I've never done before. I don't know why I choose the lives to do them. So this could either turn out really good or absolutely awful. Alright, I'm going to try and crumb cut his head, which is only blooming impossible. Not only is it rainbow, but it's soft as anything. Careful, careful, careful. Oh. Good evening, Laura. Oh, so Joanna's doing her chimp. I love that chimp class. It's funny. It's one of the, the more underrated ones. Everyone loves the Labradors and stuff, but the chimp is so cute. And teaches you so much. You think about facial proportions and stuff. Chimps are so like humans, aren't they? 
Or is it humans that are like chimps? What a mess. Has anyone invented that spray on buttercream for me yet? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let me just, have I done around that? Top? I can't see. I can't see if I've done that corner or not. Okay. Had enough of that board. Let me just get these crumb, crumbs cleared away. So Belinda's saying, I need to make a Jack Russell. Any tips? They're all right. They're pretty stocky. So just a stocky body and then a long nose. They're not too hard. Hang on. Let me just get rid of that. Oh, I'll take the... My tummy going. I don't know why. Sorry, it gone off screen a second. I run away. I'm just trying to crunk at the back of this. Okay. Do you look like a panda yet? All right, so let's just build him up a little bit. I know. Probably the worst thing in the world in equal measures. I'm going to invent it and sell it to a cake decorating company. Make my millions. Retire to an island somewhere. And never look at a cake again. I've got two kilos of um, sugar paste here. Um, Maria, is our, everyone asking this? Is this one of them fancy makes a net board? No, it's a cake it's a cake board lid. It's a cake box lid. I have 18 million cake box lids because my cakes never fit in the box with the lid on. And I've started using them for these. Basically because before I was covering the board and I just don't I just don't have time. Or I don't dedicate the time, one or the other. All right, should we burn up his face a little bit? So Laura is asking if we're able to watch this back. Absolutely, you can watch any of the lives. They're all on my videos, which are on my main page. If you just go to the top of my main page, what this page that you're on now, and you scoot across the top, I think it's, I think it's a tab that's slightly further over. I think you have to scoot the tabs across and you'll get to it. And it says videos, and you've got a year's worth of me wobbling on about this stuff. And you could lose a fair amount of time. I'm just nervous about making this too big. Because in my picture, he's got his mouth open, which I am not doing. So I'm having to kind of imagine. Okay, so different between, and I learned this the hard way, when I did a polar bear, and he kept looking like a dog, and I couldn't work out why. Dog noses go like in a scoop yeah they go down and then out bear noses go out they don't go down and out they just go out so if you're trying to make bears and they end up looking like dogs have a look at your nose and just check that you've got a i was going to say concurve or convex but i can't work it, or i can't remember which one which that the noses come out they don't go down I have a feeling this guy might end up looking a little bit cartoony, but we'll go with it. Feels a bit big. Oh, and now I can't take it off. Wait a minute. Let's do it a different way. I'd always rather make it smaller, and then if I, if I want to add to it, I can, then make it too big and be stuck. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. And I put a little one underneath. That's for his chin. That's his nose piece. Let's put a little nos nose, actual nose. So that's his sort of muzzle, as it were. Let's put a little nose piece on top of that as well. Pinch your triangle. Comes it. Teeny weeny little eyes. Really round head. 
tight for the best, move it up a tiny bit. Okay, that we'll put on afterwards. These two, let's do a little bit now because we need the uh, sticking out knees. I said, if I was doing this for real, I wouldn't be using massive chunks of sugar paste like this because sugar paste is your most expensive ingredient. Like I've just thrown away a ton of cake, so why would I want to use stuff that's anywhere between three and 12 pounds a kilo to bulk it up when I can just use cake? But that would be too much layering and messing around. Oh, there we go. Concave goes in like a cave, convex comes out. So, so convex. His nose is convex, whereas your dog's nose is concave. It's really quite a, a big thing, that. I'm just looking at this. I've got too much gap going on here. Hang on, let me just move it out. His legs are a little bit higher. I suppose it, it wouldn't really matter. He would be able to move his legs a bit down, but on my picture, they're a bit higher up. So yeah, there's quite a lot of sugar paste going in this one, which I probably wouldn't normally do. But at least you'll get a panda, she says, hopefully. Okay, so don't need that. That's fine. We'll bolt those on afterwards and we'll bring that wrap down afterwards. So that's probably all I need for that. So now I can get covering. Woohoo! Um, I reckon the legs, the legs are coming up to a second. Just another chunk. It's probably about uh, three centimeters thick. You just want it because he's got his knees pulled up, hasn't he? So you have to you have to give a like a pulled in knee feel here. You probably had enough round here to do it. I just don't have the time. So that's where obviously you are going to spend a lot more time mucking around with this than I. Am. This feels too narrow. Just a second. Just going to widen this out a bit. But if you bake from a 12, but well then you guys like doing small cakes, so it gets complicated for me, doesn't it? I'd rather bake from a 12 and then cut bits out. So you bake from a 12, you would definitely have enough to build in those extra, extra bits. That's better, a bit wider. All right. Welcome to summer. I've got the window open as well. Is that an up flush? Okay. We could cover this in one. I'll, go, I'll cover his head separately just because I normally do, but we could cover it in one. Let's just get this going. I don't even remember my rolling pin. All right, I'm just going to very quickly get him covered and then we'll sit down and do some work on him. So, Michelle, I don't use cake pop mix at all. I, I just worry about it. My clients pay a, yeah, a good amount of money. And I just worry that if you've built it up a load out of cake pop mix, then when they cut it, they're just going to get a real mess for like half the cake. So I would rather build it up in so I would buttercream and then I would just put another layer of another layer of cake up. So you all I don't think you'd be quite up to two layers, but you'd certainly be in that way. I say there's a difference between the one eye sculpts. The one eye sculpts is me really just mucking around and trying to give you a head start. Alright, I'm gonna get the space covered. Too thick. I'm trying to save save face because I only got two kg out and I was just a bit just a little bit worried at how much I'm gonna have to use for those pores. I will just go a little bit thinner, it's good practice anyway. Alright, there we go. So I'm just trying to let it tuck under a little bit because I quite like a bit of extra here.
Now he is really furry, which is to our advantage. So I'm almost entirely not bothered about how this falls, as long as we've not got any major wrinkles going on. So did you see there I tucked underneath? Because I wanted a bit of extra thick paste here, so we get a, a difference between where his head stops and his body. So I've got, I've got a double layer here. Okay, we try and find some eyes. Now his eyes are teeny tiny. It's, I mean, I know he's got big black stuff around here, but that's not his eyes. That's a, it's making his eyes look bigger than they are. All right, so let's cut that off. Over there for later. That's bulking out his shoulders. Let's get onto some tools. Okay, so middle of his head. Let's get in that little panda eye. I'm going to leave them pretty round, you know, because I think that's what makes a panda a panda. We can extend them a tiny bit, but I'm not going to bother too much. And then get that big wide muzzle going. Find where you put your pieces in. And towards his nose. It helps if I put that bigger picture. Don't want his chin to be too big. His chicken can still see. Let's bring his chin in and then see what else is going on. What have I got on my tool? Hang on. Oh, okay, loads of questions going on here. I'm really furry since lockdown. Okay. Um, is this the last live? No, it's not the last live. I'm still here. I will, I, the only time I have to stop them is if I'm, well, one, if I've lost the will to live, uh, or two, if I'm doing client cakes and I have to deliver them because my client cakes are all like delivered into London. I'm just trying to build up this. But I'll keep them going more or less. You might lose me every so often. Right, so there's his little mouth line. I'm trying to make him not smile because I don't like humanizing animals. And then we're going to come up here. And then his, his little nose comes around. On that side. He's got little cut edges on his nose, and then it comes across the top. So hopefully he's got a fairly bearish nose there, with it being out here. Obviously it's done at massive speed here. So we've got a little chin. The rest is all just lots and lots and lots of fur. So let's just give him a furry chin. Jen, uh, Deb, I was going to use that word and then I didn't know if people would know what it was. So I just um, didn't. He's backing with his nose, as you can tell. Okay, oh, let's do my back in. Oh, I'm getting old. All right, let's quickly put some fur in for him, and then we'll get his body covered.
god, that's gonna take a while. Fur is definitely more on the outside rather than too much round. Have really got any cheap ones going? A little bit, maybe. Oh, this is a big ask, this one, wasn't it? A lot, a lot to do, but no time to do it. Okay. And more and more and more and more and more. Lots and lots and lots and lots of fur going on. Alright, whilst I'm here, I'm going to chuck some ears on. So, dead simple. Teddy bit is. How am I going to get them to stay on? Uh, they're quite small, aren't they? His head's quite big. Prey. A bit higher than that. Let's do one, let's do the other, and we'll get his body covered. I get the impression he's going to look pretty weird right the way through until we suddenly cover him. Good morning, Sue! Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Get the coffee on. They're quite high, aren't they? I just don't want to put them too low by accident. Let's just give them a little tufty. If this doesn't stick on, I'm going to end up using my drink. Which I don't really want to do. Alright, weird. Okay, let's get the body covered. Because there's no more time. He's definitely teddy bear, isn't he? Yeah, I was looking at him thinking they've got a surprisingly similar face to a lion. Hopefully that's a short term thing and it won't do that forever. It's definitely got this, this part's very similar, isn't it? Right, let me open up the other pack. I'm going to these in my hand. Oh, head under it. Right, let's get body covered. Pop some paws on. thing is that I think it's literally just the colour that makes it look panderish. I'm not seeing anything else that I can do to change his face shape. It's it's just where it sits here against the white and the black, which would be hilariously good fun to do in airbrush. Let's try and mark it a bit more. Bit rounder. This is called fapping, which is, of course, an amazing thing to do on a one I like. All right, stop it. Okay. I love how the giraffe course came out. It's such a nice course, apart from the, you know, eight million hours of hand painting. Come to think of it, Sue, have you ma managed to come up with a way of doing a, a giraffe template yet? 
lapsen är det. So he's trying to come up with a way we can airbrush giraffes so we don't have to spend four hours hand painting them. All right, let me get this rolled out. I've managed to get red in it somehow. Oh, I know why, because it's got a red head, doesn't it? Stupid red head. Rainbow cakes, man. What are they? I think all cakes should be white. If you've got to make white things out of them. Mind you, whoever decided to say that panda was a black and white clearly hasn't looked at one. And that's what I'm holding against. He's not black and white at all, is he? So when mine doesn't turn out black and white, I shall say it's because I looked at the image and not because I'm rubbish at airbrushing. Okay? Repeat after me. Pandas are not black and white. My panda will be black, white and red. Oh dear. All right, going on with it. Lost my knife. Where are you, panda? Uh, should we just put you under a blanket? Good night. Okay. So now we've just got to find all those bits that we put in. So this is where his knees are coming up. This is belly. He's got. He's wearing a mask. He's being a good citizen. We just cut that off. Right now here, instead of cutting it off, I'm going to start building it round under to make his his paws. I'd always try and do that. I don't really see the point in cutting stuff off just to refold stuff in. So if I can manage it, I'll always try and use the paste. Did you see that? It's cooler. There's generally a way of using the paste rather than cutting it off and then putting something else on. See if you can manipulate it round. And there's his knee, there's his belly, there's his other arm coming up. Let's see if we can play the same trick on this side. So we'll cut it under there. And then we'll manipulate this round. And if there isn't enough, you'll have to add to it. But at least it's a good start. And then you don't have to do a join, you see, because it's already there. And it is our fortune that, of course, he's so furry, we can just blend whatever needs to be blended. So there's another leg. Just going to patch a bit around here that I didn't quite get to. You can't see that, so I could technically have left it. All right, in here. So whilst we're there, let's pop these top arms on, and then we can have just a mass fur up, can't we? So let's cut this off. I can use it for the arms. You're working on, on, on giraffe techniques. <laughs> you let me know when you've worked out something that doesn't involve hand painting. It. All right, I'm just going to put in top arms so we've got the full shape going, and then we can have a muck about with him. So 
So we've got the forearm, or uh, whatever that is, uh, shoulder, elbow, we're just coming up here. And he's got them one turned in and one up there. So if we just roll out, and say, I would say again, if I was doing this for a client, this part would be cake. I just, there isn't time to manipulate cake like that in a, such a small amount of time. So hit. Look, we're getting to dodgy syndrome again, but I'm not going to let it go. I mean, let me just try and get rid of this. So we will do very, very, very quick pause because we're already running out of time. So it connects here. And... Uh, so I was looking at pictures of these, and that I can use this fault line across here. In there, and they've got five toes, which I find slightly unusual because most animals don't. So once you've got your line in, you can use your tool to go around. These are obviously incredibly simplified. And then they've got five of these. You can use little petal cutters, petal, da, 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 petal cutters and stuff to make these. Jane, stop it. I've got to get five out of it. Put another one here. All right, that's all you're getting, because there's no time. Got too big. So it's coming up like that, and then it's going to connect in here. I think where the join is going to be. Move this line here. Becomes part of that. I'm just going to turn it a bit more because it's rough as anything. Let's do something on the side. And then we just need to fur everything in and get on the airbrush. Maria, I'm used to the dogs that have got the four, but they've got the one right up here, haven't they? But it's it's weird looking at like they're actually like right on the end of his feet. Whereas I expected there to be you know, the normal four like a dog. Looks like he's going hands up. I'm just trying to find an angle on this one. So that would be going there, that would be going there. So if I just cut, cut an angle that will fit in. I'm going to leave it like that because it sits like that. Okay, so we've got this rough shape, roughed in, rough shape, roughed in. I've been thinking about using the same words more than once, so I'm weird, weird of mine. All right, let's do it. Quick as anything. Big, saggy, saggy lines coming in here. All this is going to go to black, so it doesn't really matter what you're doing once yet. And then this belly obviously comes out. So this is black, this is black. It's nice to do a proper one of these, spend a bit of time on it.
So his foot here comes down, comes down, comes down, and then it comes across the belly. Over his knees. Into his belly here. He's softer here. Turn his bottom. So let's just come down here, lift the legs. Oh, in your own time, Panda. Next time we do is head in a blanket, right? Right, two seconds, and we'll hop up here. I'm still here, I'm just trying to get to this side. Okay. I can't quite decide what to do with his mouth because I haven't got a reference for it. Because in my picture, he's got it open. Bad picture choice. But I need to get one where I can see where his body, what his body was doing. So, you know, choose your poison. Okay, all right, <laughs> let's get him advice. No, one thing, I'm gonna tuck his eyes straight in, okay? Because they're black. They will airbrush black, and uh, there isn't time to do anything with them other than airbrush them black. But they're black anyway. We could potentially put some highlights in, maybe. So let's pop these little piggy small eyes in. And then we'll get the airbrush going. Too big. Get in. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> no. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So we do the brown first, and then onto the black. Wish me luck. I need it.
guys, I can see the questions that you guys just let me focus a minute and then I'll try and catch them back up again. This is not an easy thing to do. Let alone live in front of you lot. All right, I've got no other choice now. I've got nothing left to do with the important bit. I'm going to do it this way around.
We need that. All righty. Oh, hard, I will, I will look at all the questions. Seriously, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just an airbrush lesson, wasn't it? But not. Very, very, very hard. Um, I think I saw someone say, hang on, I've not got them. I think I saw someone say, um, could you mask off areas? I think you'd really struggle because they're not straight black to white, are they? There's blends through. I'm just going to put a bit more um, brown on his tummy. The eyes you could probably hand paint and the nose you could definitely hand paint. I was just being cocky because I forgot to bring any black paint through to do it, so I just did it with airbrush, but extremely, extremely high risk. So maybe you could, um, it looks so cool on there. Maybe you could paint the eyes in, the, the eye face and the nose, but the rest of it, you've got enough blend to do it. But did you see how I was working away from it? So when I was airbrushing this bit, I didn't airbrush across his body because you're just gonna hit everything behind. So turn it, like for that leg, start here. So at least any overspray is gonna go off somewhere. Let me just brown up his belly a little bit more, and I want to do one more thing. I'm, I've got about three minutes, but um, it's too important not to do it, so let me just get the brown running through. Hang on, hold this a minute. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. I'm not going to touch his face because it's too scary. Right, and one more thing I want to do on the airbrush, which will probably ruin it all, but you know what? Let's just go game on for a minute. Are you all still there? I did it. I did it. I did it without throwing it all over the place. High um, gambling is what that was. Question is, where's that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh, maybe I can't show you what I've got to show you there. Ooh, bizarre. Uh, no, okay. You know what? Let's quit whilst we're ahead. 
I'm sure I brought my green through. That was the thing then, was it? That was the thing. Ah, 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 I have it. All I wanted to do was just do, um, and I'm uh, stupidly simply, like with no detail at all, but I've got a tiny bit of wafer here. Uh, a tiny bit of brownie green. And I should be able to quickly, fairly effectively, Cover my entire table and myself. Oh. Just throw a little bit of brown on. I know you can't see what I'm doing. It's all will become clear. Right. What? So noisy. What I wanted to do, doesn't he look cute? Look at that. <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me just get this stuff out of the way now. I can come back to you all now. Did I, was there any big questions going on there that I didn't catch? Like when I'm airbrushing, I do find it really difficult. I can't follow. So if there was any like pressing questions. Oh, there was something about um, sugar paste, wasn't there? Um, as a go-to, when I'm not ordering from you know, if I'm not ordering colours or whatever, I'll just run to Sainsbury's. If I'm ordering from the cake shops and I'm ordering colours or wafer paper or whatever, um, then what's it called? Oh, my brain's gone. Uh, something Island. What called Sugar Paste Island? It's Island Select Select Island, is it called? I quite like that stuff. Uh... I'm very bad at letting things go, have you noticed? I've got no time to do this, and I'm still mucking up. So, the question is, is how are we going to get that in his face? Without ruining it. So that ain't bad, is it? Because that's a seriously complex bit of cakeage. I don't want to make too much of this. What are we saying? Bamboo. Right, I'm going to stick a hole in his mouth. Sorry, Panda. Get in. Better than a cigar. Just bash it up a little bit. Obviously, when you do this, you will take your time and it will be lovely. How's that? Full on. Panda. <laughs> In one hour and three minutes. Complete with airbrush. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> Hands up. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It was the one armed man. Look, I stayed me. Right, okay. Now then, listen. Ask those questions. Oh, hello. Were there any questions I missed there? So. Are you dusting the face instead? No, I did it all on airbrush because this was an hour. We only, look at me. Oh. Um, I only had an hour. It's not a long time. But you certainly could. You certainly could add more. I could just put a piece in his paw. Not that we've got enough going on here. Not that I'm, not that I'm doing enough. This one hasn't had the other airbrushing on. Um, I mean, you could you could do this in different coloured sugar paste, of course. You don't have to use airbrushes. I didn't dust his face because um, I picked up with the airbrush. Uh, there's quite a strong light coming from behind. Hang on, if I move this, can you see his face dusting a bit better? Can you see him? He's got the airbrush naturally just picks up all around there. Oh, I see. You could put it in his hand if you didn't want to put the grass in. Yeah, you can do all sorts of stuff. I just was basically being a bit flat because I like wafer paper. And it's dead easy. It costs very, very little. And you can do lots of fun stuff with it. Right. 
if there are no more urgent questions, my little girl is banging at the door. Does that work? I'm just mucking about with it now. I'm on a witch paw. That way? I can't make it look right. I think I'm better leaving it. So you've had a lovely little airbrush demo tonight, as well as the sculpting as well. I think that's probably by a long way the most complicated cake I've managed in an hour. I think we all need to lie down after that, don't you? Right. Uh, what black airbrush could you use? Okay. So I used Chroma Black just because it was black, 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 absolute 100% black. Okay. I wouldn't use Chroma Black for shading, but in terms of getting a very black very quickly, this works well. So what other questions were there? Um, thank you very much. If you if you don't want them in the mouth, you don't have to put them on at all. I'll just muck it about. Yes, you would have to have a fiddle with this pool, absolutely. I, I, just, I don't know. In there, out there, doesn't matter. All good. Would it fit better in that one? Shall I just leave it? <laughs> right. All right, ladies and gents, anyone. Um, don't forget, if you're not on the, if you're new, Aggie, what are you doing on this group? <laughs> Aggie's my old neighbour, shut up, mate. Um, do you remember, come in the community group, Cake Illusionist Sculpting School uh, Community. Is that what it's called? Shout, I'll put the link up. Come and join us and you get to decide what I'm doing in the next few weeks. And also there's lots of people there. Um, jump on the courses. If airbrushing scares you, this clearly shows you what you can do with it if you just get over your fear. And I will see you. I'll see the Jaguar guys tomorrow evening. And then all of the rest of you uh, next Sunday night or in the group. All right. I'm going to go put the kids to bed. See you later. Bye.